Through the pandemic, restaurants have been hit really hard and are working to make ends meet. But the Lowrider Cafe downtown isn't letting that stop them from spreading the love to the most in need. Roxanne Elias explains. For more than a year, the Lowrider Cafe on North Michigan Street has been serving Mexican-American food downtown. Then a global pandemic changed everything. When COVID hit, it, it was scary. A lot of people were, when they told us that we had to shut down the dining, a lot of people were afraid. Mm -hmm. um, definitely us. So we told our employees it's going to be slow for a while. The loyal customers returned when the cafe reopened, including several homeless people and others down on their luck. So owners Jacob Estrada and Silvia Almaguer shifted gears to stay open and share some love. You can purchase one of these love tokens for $5 by messaging the Lowrider Cafe on their social media. They will then place however many you purchase into the love dispenser. That way people that are in need can come in and ask for a meal. Now the shelters, um, they're yes. quarantining when, when they go to stay at a shelter. A lot of them don't want to be quarantined right. and also they're afraid of being indoors around so many other homeless people. With food limited at some shelters, the owners say anywhere between one and ten people come in and ask for a plate of tacos, rice and beans on any given day. A plate paid for by a stranger as a token of love. When you're hungry, the stomach's empty, it's a really bad feeling and uh, just everything seems hopeless. So to be able to get a meal inside is, uh, is a wonderful thing. I find it amazing. I mean, we need more opportunities for that for like you know people like this to give them another chance to let them you know basically feel the love that you know that some most people have in here in this community. The low rider cafe owners say it's just their way of lending a helping hand to their community which has pushed them through these difficult times. And even if the meals had to get skimpier and uh, we had to lighten up on some things we would still give. That's one thing about us. Yeah. In downtown Toledo, Roxanne Elias, WTOL 11.